So we're sitting here and the hell I don't know where I'm at with Vamp, uh, aka the Fort Payne Vampire. Um, he's a rumored night stalker here in Fort Payne, Alabama. And fortunately we got a chance to get him out here and have a seat with him. Wherever this is, where we met, I don't know, but it's undisclosed location. Um, at this point we're going to ask him questions. So let's get started. Tell me, uh, what draws you to the dark side? Well, first off, it's just in my nature to live within the dark. I was born within darkness, thus I live within darkness. Alright, um, do you think vampires are superior beings or someone with a deficiency? Well, it's all according to who you would ask that to. Some would say they are nothing but mere humans looking for attention, such as a deficiency. Or you would look at the logical side and know that we are here, you just don't see us. Nice answer. So, tell us some of your freakish habits or, or strange rituals, things that you do. To be honest, I just, I keep to pretty much myself and my victims come to me. I don't really have to call them. They just... It's like they're drawn to the darkness and don't know why. Thus, I take them back to my domain and have my way with them. Wow, that sounds interesting. I don't know if I want to be on the receiving end of that. But, um, so here, it's kind of random, but everybody has one. Who's the sexiest female vampire? Sexiest female vampire. Well. If you want to look at a fictitious one, I would say that Vampirella. She was pretty sexy. Tell us about her. I mean, like, what, what's what's sexy about her? I mean, what? She uh, lives she within ancient ways, number one. Plus, number two, I mean, how could you not think that was sexy with her outfit? <laughs> um, what is, uh, what is the general perception people have of you? How does that affect you? People see me as a devil. They fear what they don't know. Thus is always a the devil. Who's to say I'm not closer to God than they are? How it affects me? Why should it affect me in any way? So I hear you do piercings out of your house. Tell me about that. What, what, what is it you like about that? What? Just tell me about it. The blood fetish, number one. Number two, there are others that like the pain. The pain of feeling something penetrate their skin. Just to have something else pushed through it. It's like their own form of self mutilation. And I love doing it. I love seeing the initial shock look on their face. And then the pleasure right afterwards. I, I, I can agree with you there. I love tattoos and that endorphin, that endorphin rush is just awesome. I mean, you know, it's like a release. Just releases all your stress. 
I'm not penetration, man. Those mosquitoes are. <laughs> I'm getting a little <laughs> penetrated yeah, by them face, too. <laughs> you ain't the only blood sucker in this <laughs> motherfucker, man. These <laughs> <laughs> hey, are getting me through my underwear. <laughs> All right, okay, get serious. All right, um, what are your views on the occult? The occult. Some views on the occult. If it is done correctly, I have no problem with it. But in some ways, you've got so many amateurs out here trying to pretend they are something they are not, whether it be witches, Christians, vampires, or whatever, and they go about it the wrong way with no kind of code whatsoever or a false code. Thus, I have no use for the occult. So, is blood drinking part of your diet or ritual? On occasion. I like to have a taste or two from time to time. Huh? Ooh. We gotta um, do some game plug in here. Um, did you uh, like video games and stuff like that? Were you ever any in any video games growing up? Did you ever play like Castlevania? You know, that's a big vampire game. You know, I mean, everybody was balls deep when I was a kid about playing some Castlevania and stuff. I don't know. Castlevania, not really. I was never really much into that whole gaming scene. I knew ones who were, and they let it go to their heads, thus the occult emerged. I, I agree, some gamers, uh, they are occult, man. <laughs> they are. These damn <laughs> World of Warcraft and all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I, so you know, Walter, Sean, Sean, Sean you match for you on that too. So, Sean the gaming ain't a thing for you, but what, what kind of music keeps your skin cold? The darker the better, the more ancient the better. Old metal or even classical. Name like a um, like an artist. Your you favorite band. Yeah. Who's your favorite band? Mm, well, Cradle of Filth, Demio Borgir, and of course Dangerous New Machine. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, what is uh, your opinion of werewolves? Werewolves? Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with them. They leave me alone, I'll leave them alone. Um, right. one more. Um, got one more. Okay, everybody watches the damn gay-ass Twilight <laughs> movies. Or everybody knows about them. Not everybody watches them, but everybody knows about them. So anyway, um... How do you think it's uh, affected the public's view of vampires? Well, in this so-called twilight, they made vampires out to be something nice, something with almost a soul, that twinkle in the sun like yeah, fairies. Sparkle. I'm sorry, none of that is true. <laughs> Nor will it ever be true. If a vampire chooses not to kill you, that is his or her choice. It is not because he is in love. It is not because he has morals. It is his choice. And we do not twinkle in the sun like some kind of fairies. <laughs> so, some of us may be able to walk within the sunlight and not be noticed, but we sure as hell are not going to twinkle. <laughs> Alright, well I guess that about wraps it up. Um, thank you for your time. and. Honestly, I, I want to get the fuck out of these woods before you, you know, I'm not kidding. It's pretty fucking creepy out here. <laughs> I mean, really. This is home. I guess at this point, I should ask you, you plan on killing us and drinking our blood? Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs>